Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my process for doing a little cityscape painting. And this isn't one of those big cityscapes with a bunch of buildings or a, a big vista of the city, but really it's more of a local scene, just focusing in on a small, small urban scene. It's like a little bit, a little moment of city life that I wanted to capture onto the canvas. And often when I'm walking around the city looking for inspiration, I'm paying attention to what I'm seeing in terms of light and shadow. I'm almost not even thinking so much about the cityscape itself and what it means, and sometimes more actually just focused on these abstract designs of light and shadow that that sort of speak to me and that I find really interesting. Um, but at the same time, I also do really like the shapes and the forms of the city and a lot of um, the light and shadow shapes that I see are made by these buildings that are just so characteristic of my urban environment. And this painting was no different. So here I was walking around in my neighborhood and I saw this um, old building. I don't know if it's still a operating laundry place or if it just used to be a laundry place with this bright red sign and um, it was like a blue building with these cool bay windows and then next to it there was another building with bay windows and I loved the shadows that the buildings were casting and um, also just the way that the shadows sort of merged with the windows of the buildings themselves to create these cool abstract shapes. I live in San Francisco and often it's pretty cold and foggy and things are kind of gray so when we do have bright sunny days like this and the buildings are just casting these really strong shadows and also these really bright highlights I think that I just find it very something there's something very striking and powerful when I when I see these situations so I, I usually get really excited and um and get feel inspired to paint something and so for this painting, I really wanted to focus on that, just showing these dramatic shadows that we were seeing in the buildings. And I kind of merged the shadows themselves with the darker shapes of the window, at least for the building on the left. So they kind of come together and it's not exactly clear where the building starts and the window ends or vice versa. And I think there's something really beautiful about that. I'll go and refine it later on in the painting process, but I think it's interesting at this stage when the shapes are just really simplified and, um, and we basically just have the areas in light and the areas in shadow. Um, I, like, I like this stage where everything's very simple and I think there's sort of a clarity to that. And when I was painting, I really wanted to hold on to that clarity and not get too much into the details. And I also use the palette knife a lot on this. So sometimes I actually find that instead of adding details with the brush, I actually prefer to add texture with the palette knife. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. So I feel like it almost allows me to maintain the simplicity of some of the larger shapes while also creating more visual interest with this texture that sort of brings you into the image and gives it this sense of atmosphere. And then I do start to go in and add some details, but here I'm trying to be very like use the details very sparingly I don't want to distract from these overall very interesting light and shadow shapes that I'm seeing and I think that's one of my favorite things about painting is finding that right balance like figuring out how many details do I need to add what is just the right amount of detail that gives us enough information to to know what's going on that gives us um, a better sense of the reality of the image without adding so much detail that it removes or it kind of takes away from the broader picture and the broader shapes that we're seeing. And in this process, I'll go back and forth sometimes. So sometimes I'll add in details like around the windows, adding the, the white frames, and then I'll take them away again. And, I'll kind of do this push and pull to see how much is enough and how much is too much and where do I want to add more? Where do I want to dial back? I guess you could say this is kind of the editing stage of the painting where I have the overall framework, the overall picture. I know in general what I'm trying to say 
and I have that established and then I'm trying to figure out how I want to how I want to add these finishing touches that will give the painting just that little bit of extra life. Another thing that I really wanted to convey with this image was the feeling of brightness, especially from the building on the left, which had this really light blue paint on its facade, and it was reflecting the sunlight in such a beautiful and striking way. But of course, as you know, paint can't emit light, and so if we want to create a feeling of brightness on the canvas, um, it is it does feel like almost some sort of magic with the paintbrush. And I think here having really strong shadows to contrast against the lighter areas is just so key in creating that, that illusion. I also like the fact that we can find at least what to me feels like a very dramatic motif in such a simple city scene. It's just, you know, a uh, a crop of an image of two buildings nothing is really happening and yet to me it feels like a very it has a very dramatic mood to it just with the super strong contrast the very bright highlights and dark shadows and and i think it's it's so interesting how um something like that an image of buildings can create that mood when the lighting is right and I think what initially caught my eye with this scene was the drama of the shadows that the buildings were casting. But another dramatic element is that that like shock of red that's in the bottom part of the image from the awning that's under the blue building. Um, I just thought that that really helps bring the other elements of the painting together. And I almost left the shadow parts um, in the top left corner for the blue building, I almost just kept those shadows completely the same tone, but I decided I wanted to give a little bit more of a sense of, of detail within those shadows. Um, not only because some of the, the roof, it's interesting because the roof of the building was actually being hit by direct light, but it was a very dark roof. So I was kind of going back and forth on keeping it all as one shape or or getting into the details there and I ended up deciding to develop it a little bit more. It breaks up that shape a little bit but I like how it gives us a little bit of sense of reflected light that was hitting the underside of of the roof there. And reflected light is also one of my other favorite things to paint so <laughs> I wasn't gonna leave it out. And in the end, it was a pretty subtle addition. So overall, I think it doesn't break up the design of the image, but it gives us some more detail that we can enjoy. So here's how it turned out in the end. I'm super happy with the outcome. Um, I think it was a really great study. And yeah, I hope you liked it too, and that it gave you a little bit of inspiration as well. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. And also, a Big shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting my art and making these videos happen. If you like my art, if you like my videos, and you want to help me make more, check out my Patreon at the link below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.